G'day, Kelly here from Morton Bay Organics and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to learn how to make comfrey and dandelion tea. The tea is for the garden, not for drinking, but you can use these plants for medicinal purposes as well um, by making different teas and uh, dried herbal things and creams and stuff like that. But today we're doing it for the fertilizer in our garden in our veggie patch. Comfrey and dandelion uh, plants are really good at picking up some trace elements out of the soil that some plants can't and that's why it makes such a good liquid fertilizer. It's really simple to make and it's shelf stable so once you've made it um, it will last for a very very long time over 12 months and uh, we still actually have got some here which we'll show you later that we made last year. Uh, so basically to get started what you need is a bucket and you can do any size buckets we actually do nice big uh, like 100 litre 200 litre ones as well but today we're just going to make a small one so this is a 10 litre bucket um, and you need some rainwater. so if you've got a rain tank or if you want to use tap water let it sit overnight before using it to get rid of the chlorine obviously some dandelion um, which we've dug out from our garden and some comfrey so we've just pre-cut that not long ago and all you need to do uh, is with your bucket cut up some of your comfrey so you, if you're doing big buckets you don't need to chop it up but to make it fit just cut it to size to make it fit in there a bit easier stalks and all. Now if you haven't handled comfrey before the stems and leaves are quite furry um, and if you've got sensitive hands uh, it might irritate your skin so um, maybe wear some gloves if you're a bit sensitive to things. We handle it every day so my skin's a bit used to it. So chuck that in, fill it up most of the way with as much comfrey as you can. So that's over half full. And then with your dandelions, just whatever you can get. Um, we've got a little patch that we particularly grow on purpose, but there's not a lot there at the moment. So this is what we've got. We leave the flowers on because they still hold nutrients too. We just push it down a little bit so we can fit the water in. So I'll just top it up. So I like to do just to the top of the weeds. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then we pop a lid on top. doesn't need air so to speak so we just secure the lid it doesn't need to be airtight but just so it's secure and you let that sit for at least two weeks uh, sometimes up to three weeks and you can just continue letting it sit if you want to just pull from the same bucket as you need it but this is what it looks like That's the finished product. So it doesn't doesn't really smell. Um, it does after two to three weeks. It smells like uh, cow manure is probably the best way to explain it. But the longer it sits, the less it smells. It just means everything's been utilized and digested and broken down properly. So um, after two to three weeks, it might have a more greener text, uh, greener color on it. But as it matures, it gets more and more brown. So um, that smells like nothing now. So that one's been, we made this late last year, maybe in October. So it's a few months old. Um, places to store it is we've got a little area where we keep our fish fertilizer and stuff too. So it's partially sunny. Uh, the sun creates the heat in the bucket, which helps breaking um, the breakdown process as well. 
um, but you can leave it inside it might just take an extra week um, if you want to keep it out of the sun um, and the other good thing with this we use so this is a 500 ml uh, jar um, I think what do they call that a pint I think a pint size jar it's 500 mils that works out to be anyway so one of these jars will dilute into a 240 liter bin um, along with some of our other stuff that we use in the liquid fertilizer front for our garden every fortnight um, but if you're doing like a little 10 litre um, watering can, um, probably about 30 mils would be more than enough um, per can and um, you've got all the nice nutrient dense uh, minerals and trace elements and nitrogen. It's like a complete fertilizer just on its own. So yeah, there you have it. It's nice and easy. Just chuck it in with some rainwater, let it sit for a few weeks. And then as it matures, you can pull from it and um, you don't need to do anything else. You don't need to strain it or anything. You just grab it as you need. It all breaks down over time. So there you have it. That's how you make comfrey and dandelion tea for your garden. We hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, give it a nice big thumbs up. And it would be lovely to for you to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, to share the video for others to learn the same thing. And it also helps our channel out as well. We'll see you next time and have a great day. Bye.